Hey guys, this is Tyler Zombro with Tread Athletics, and today I'm going to go over our top three curveballs in baseball. First, we have Shane McClanahan on the list here. Looking at McClanahan, he's a guy who throws his curveball 24% of the time, so not a ton of usage, so a little bit of that deceptive mechanism where he's not throwing it a ton, but the whiff rate is over 30%, which is great. Again, if you go back to inflection point videos, you'll see with curveballs, we love them getting to 80 miles an hour, regardless of depth. And again, on this kind of velocity movement continuum, you see varied success with that. Looking at run value alone, Adam Wainwright is a guy who actually pops up. And looking at Waino, he's a guy that's 97% efficient on his curveball. So huge efficiency. Now he's only throwing at 73 miles an hour, but that just kind of tells you where he's at on that continuum, right? He could probably throw it upper 70s, maybe get close to 80 if he backed off that efficiency to let's say 50%, 40% or so, just with how he's imparting force on that baseball. But he's a guy who's on the far end of that continuum, who's had a ton of success with that pitch his entire career. So again, looking at efficiency, velocity trade-off. But back to McClanahan, he has averaged 81.8 miles per hour on his curveball at 57% efficiency on a 430 axis. So again, not huge in terms of efficiency with top spin per se, but it's over 80 miles an hour, has enough depth, and is getting the job done well for him. Next on the list, we have tread athlete Kyle Wright, who's throwing his curveball 34% of the time and has a great 34% whiff rate on that pitch. So with Kyle, obviously one thing in his transformation that's been noted is throwing more curveballs. And I think something that eluded a lot of people is it's not a traditional curveball shape. It has a little bit more sweep to it. But again, anything that has depth, we can label as a curveball. You know, pitch tagging itself has kind of been bucketed into ways in the past, but we know just with tagging, we can have these pitches anywhere on a movement plot and just kind of correspondingly tag them with an appropriate term. So it's all arbitrary, don't necessarily worry about that a ton. So with Kyle's curveball, he's averaging an elite 84.5 miles an hour with 63% spin efficiency on a 745 axis. So very, very efficient. Now 745, obviously that's closer to nine o'clock than six o'clock, so it's not quote unquote 12.6, but again, 84 and a half miles an hour with that type of depth and movement, a ton of success coming out there for Kyle Wright. Next on the list, we have Framber Valdez. So Framber is throwing this pitch 28% of the time with a elite whiff rate pushing 45%. So this is something, you know, you've kind of seen the usage there for him throughout his career. Again, he's a guy who's pushing 80 miles an hour at 79.2 miles an hour on average, 83% spin efficient, and that's on a five o'clock axis. So you can see throwing that pitch with 83% spin efficiency at 79. Again, odds are we trade off a little bit of that efficiency for some velocity and he's over 80 still with that curveball territory. You see this with all guys and that's why supination is so important. We'll touch on that in another video, but ultimately being able to throw these pitches with that type of velocity and able to have elements of that top spin and movement for curveballs is super elite. So that's our list of top three curveballs in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.